Hub Beer Hub, I'm Mark, and we have got a beer review for you. It is a beer review out of my brand new Beer Monster. <laughs> it's my first beer machine, I've been after one for such a long time. It's just been my birthday, so I am super excited to get my hands on it. Um, the beer that we've got in there today is the Grain Oat Pale Ale, the OPA. Um, my wife's just gone through below the camera in some sort of weird fashion. Um, it's an oat pale ale from one of my closest and one of my favourite craft breweries near me. Um, Grain are, I believe they're a family owned brewery. They've gone from strength to strength. They've got a couple of pubs, one in Norwich called The Plough, um, and I believe they've got one in Ipswich too. Uh, but they do some fantastic traditional beers. They also do some amazing sort of more craftier beers. When I first moved up to South Norfolk, they used to do these single malt and single hot beers. They called them smash beers. I know a few breweries do those. Um, my favorite being Vienna Wolf. Um, it was biscuity, it was citrus, it was orange, it was lovely. Um, they, they were all pretty much pale ales, I believe, the smash beers. But anyway, they're exploring a more craftier side, which I am all for. Um, <laughs> there goes the wife. You all right? <laughs> Um, so yeah, they do five litre mini kegs. It's one of the main reasons I bought the Beer Monster. Let's go and have a quick look at the Beer Monster then. There she is, sitting there, cooling down. Um, I've only just filmed the video of the setup, so it's cooling down 15 degrees now. Um, it started at 18. But this is a pretty cool bit of kit. I'm really impressed with this so far. Uh, really impressed with this so far. Um, and one of the main reasons I bought the Beer Monster was I've got shed loads of breweries around me, Grain being one, who put their beer into five litre mini kegs. Now, I didn't want to be tied to the AB InBev and the big boys with the perfect drafts. I know how user friendly it is. And quite honestly, this was really impressive. The setup was easy. From what I've seen so far, its usability is really, really good. It feels like a good bit of kit, the quality in the handle. It all feels very, very solid and very, very able. The dishwashers, oh, the washing machines can go for a mad, absolute mad one now, so I do apologize if you can hear that. But yeah. We are going to have a little look at Grain's Oat Pale Ale in the Beer Monster. Right then, I've got my Lord Sleeper glass. Um, it's going to be a perfect glass for this particular type of beer. Um, and yeah, let's have a little look. Let's see how it pours. I've had a little play with the CO2. That is one big thing with the Beer Monster that you don't have to worry about with the perfect draft. You have to balance the CO2 canister. Um, but I think I've hit it just about right. I think I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. I think I've hit it just right. Let's see, let's get a pour on. What are we? What have we got? Whoa, no, I definitely haven't got that right. Let's turn that way down. I definitely haven't got the CO2 right just yet. And as that develops, that looks alright, doesn't it? This, like I say, this is an oat pale ale from Grain. Four point, oh, what was it? Four point seven, four point six percent, I think. I did have one of these mini kegs before, just as a normal mini keg, um, during one of the lockdowns. Which obviously we don't talk about that too much, but I enjoyed it. And if I'm honest, I've done nearly the whole keg in one night. It was one of those quiz family night things. So yeah, this is what we got so far. Let's get you back up here. So boom, there we are. You're back up on the stall now, looking back towards the beer monster and the kitchen. I've done the kitchen because it, uh, it's just an easier place to film this. I do apologize if that washing machine's going mad. Um, house and it, these things happen. Um, that looks fantastic. We've got a three, three and a half finger kind of white head. There's a slight orange hue to the head. Um, it's a dark straw coloured hazy beer. This is an OPA, it's an oat pale ale, so it's going to have those oats in it that are going to give it that cloudiness. Um, you can't really see, you can just about see the sort of shade of my hand covering behind, but yeah, you can't see anything through that. Let's get the aroma. Certainly oaty, that is for sure. Peach, got a peach aroma in there. Maybe a bit of like candied lemon, if you know what I mean. Do you remember those little sweets you used to get as a kid? It was like a bit of candied lemon. Overall, it smells fantastic. Peach, candied lemon, it smells sweet. It obviously smells very oaty and malty. Almost like sherbet lemon. 
Maybe sherbet lemon's probably a better way to describe it. It looks great in the glass. I'm very excited for this. It's Friday. Let's go in. Cheers, everybody. Lovely, soft, silky smooth mouthfeel. That's probably the one thing that hits you, actually. Lovely thick maltiness up front. Um, and it really fades into that peach, sherbet, lemon, citrus flavour from the hops. Slight bitterness in there as well, which is quite nice because it is quite sweet. Look at the glass. Look, that's it's just a good beer. Grain do some cracking beers, honestly. If you've not seen them, they do an IPA called Lignum Vitae that is insanely good. It's so nice. 6.5, 6.7%. Very, very good. One of the first IPAs I had where I was like, wow, British breweries can do IPAs this, of this quality. Let's, but let's concentrate on this Oak Pale Ale first. Mmm. It's just sweet, sweet and malty up front as you'd expect from an Oak Pale Ale. Um, then you go into those soft citrus sweet flavours, that sort of sherbet, lemon, that peach. And there is a bit of spiciness in there. Slight pepperiness tickling the tongue. And that kind of fails into, that fails, that tr kind of tran transitions into a nice bitterness. Um, this is as good as I remember it. It's better at the beer monster than it is just tapped off the five litre mini keg. I will say that. It's got more body, um, it's just a better beer out of the beer monster than it is the five litre mini keg. Let's go over some more. Let's tip the foam away first, actually. That is a better pour. Boom. <laughs> this beer monster, I'm loving it. This is the first beer I've had out of it, and I'm loving it already. It's, it is a game changer, this beer monster. Um, you just wouldn't get that body and that quality if it was, look, I don't know if you can see that, the way the carbonation, can you see that, the way the carbonation chases, chases the head? A good quality beer, this. And I don't know if you'd get this quality if it was just tapped off, well, you wouldn't. You wouldn't have that body, it wouldn't look that good, anywhere near that good. This is really quite um, something, this this beer monster. Oh, it's just that sweet peach. Peach is just such a lovely flavour. I don't know anybody that doesn't like the flavour of peach. Um, and that works so well with the soft mouth. It's literally like you've got a peach smoothie or press in your mouth. And then there's a bitterness at the back. This is just a very, very good beer. Um, yeah, like I say, grain just don't do bad beers in my book. Every single beer style I've had from them has been cracking. They do an oak, which is uh, bitter. That's gonna be at the beer festival, that's insane. They've got a red wood, that's a red ale. Everything they do, 316, their pale is crisp and refreshing. Oh, they just don't do bad beers, grain. And they've smashed it out of the park again. Um, rating then. It's got creamy mouthfeel, it's got body. It's got sweet malts, it's got beautiful flavors from that kind of sher lemon sherbet and peach. There's a bitterness, there's a spiciness that kind of invites you back into the beer. It almost tingles your tongue clean, which makes you want to go back into the beer. I'm really liking this. Um, what would I want more out of it? Um, I don't know that the, the peach flavors are lovely and the lemon sherbet is lovely. Could it be? Could it be more sort of pronounced in the beer? 
Maybe. Maybe. Um, I'm going to give it a five out of five. I think this is banging. I think this is good. I mean, look at the glass. This is absolute pure quality from Grain Brewery. Like I say, if you don't know them, I'm sure they must have some sort of reselling website or whether their own website does sell their beers. Their beers are incredibly good. Uh, and this is the OPA. They also do a stout called Slate. That's insane. Um, Grain do some cracking beers. This is a five out of five beer. The Beer Monster does this beer every bit of justice in the world. It's better for being out of the beer monster than it is out of, just out of the keg with that stupid little tap because I've had it before. Um, yeah, outright quality from grain, five out of five. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you haven't hit the subscribe button before, think about it, we're on our way to 350. We might have even surpassed that by now. I just wanna say from the bottom of my heart, thank you so, so much for everybody that supported the channel. Um, hit the like button whilst you're here as well because that helps me out and I really do appreciate it. And let me know in the comments, Grain, they're a lesser seen brewery. I don't know why. I don't know why they are. And if you, ha if you live outside of East Anglia, you might not have had a lot of Grain beer, but let us know if you have because this is absolute quality. Five out of five for the OPA from Grain. I'll see you on the next one, guys. Cheers.